Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC and today for tech1hobby.com we are outside in my backyard because the weather is nice and you can hear the surroundings the sea and the do dogs barking and so on but anyway Tech One Hobby is not only making planes for indoor use like uh, high quality aerobatic planes they also make beautiful outdoor airplanes and for you guys been watching you have seen that we have done a lot of videos of uh, the the sport uh, trainer we have done the lazy flyer and we have done the s pack with vector trust and now we have even another plane even bigger plane and even more beautiful plane and that is the air titan this is a beautiful plane it's large it has a wingspan of 1.6 meters and we're going to do the specs but first of all we are going to unbox this beautiful model and as you can see the box is rather big so i'm going to show you one of the great things about tech one when they are shipping out these large boxes the inside of the boxes are unique because they always make sure that the model do not move during shipping uh, the box has got some beating but that doesn't matter at all because what's inside is okay so Let's open this. Okay, so this is how it looks inside. With support, a lot of uh, foam and yeah, beautiful wrapped. So first of all, we have the Air Titan, the user manual, uh, great to have. We're going to go through this and check out the size of the motors and so on. We will start unwrapping the wings and the landing gear. As you can see, quite, quite solid landing gear made of metal and it's thick. I think it's about four or five millimeters and big wheels this plane also comes with floats and skis as you can buy the uh, or this you can buy at tech one hobby very soon they are under production now so when they are ready with the floats they will send me the floats and we will also try this airplane on the, uh, the lake that is near our airfield landing gear large wing with flaps as you can see flaps ailerons and another beautiful thing about this uh, plane is the new setup system here you have a easy connector which is uh, it will be connected to a main board inside the plane which then again is hooked up to your receiver so when you get to the airfield, you only need to pull, uh, plug in this one when you have disassembled uh, the plane for traveling, of course. Uh, it also includes lights in the wing, so when it's dark outside, you will have a beautiful light, uh, lighted plane and, of course, flaps and aileron. And another thing about Tech One, uh, I'm not sure why, but I like it. All the planes that I've got from Tech One, besides of the Sport Trainer, uh, they come in uh, the color uh, scheme red, uh, white, and black, and I like that. The other wing, Air Titan. And look at this fuse lot. It's quite big and it's it feels quite heavy as well and when you look at the motor inside it's a huge motor I will give you the specs of course and but then again it runs on a four cell battery that I know and on top here you see a little fin with a bolt in it this is actually an electric uh, release uh, button system 
so that you can put uh, the wire for your sailplane or your buddy's sailplane and so on and with the switch uh, flick on the switch on the radio this uh, bolt will go down and your sailplane is ready to go beautiful And then we have uh, the horizontal stabilizer. Runs with one servo, of course. And the sound you can hear in the background now is the ambulance plane, which is leaving. Okay, back to the stab horizontal stabilizer. And I have to admit that I've used high rod uh, or um, high rudder or side rudder as terms when I've been spoken and people actually complain about this and told me you know nothing about the airplane so if I now use horizontal stabil uh, stabilizer then I guess it will be more correct so and it's important to also tell you guys that the plane is not glued at all you don't uh, I mean you don't need to glue it everything is uh, screwed on place so minor uh, assembly and the plane is ready to go and here you have the vertical stabilizer or the side rudder quite big a lot of throw before it binds And of course, there's some minor hardware. You have a prop on this one, and the prop size is 14 by 7. Quite big. Carbon wing tube. Let's see if there's something else here. And of course, a bag with a spinner and assembly uh, equipment like uh, tubes and Y harness and so on. Y wires, Y harness, Y cables. What we are going to do now, I'm going to build this one. There's no problem building it, so I'm not going to uh, use a build video as I usually do on the small planes, but. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the inside of the plane so that you can see how it's, uh, how easy it is to mount the wings and so on. And then we're going to head up to the airfield and make a beautiful flying video of this plane. Here you can see uh, the main board, the board which all the connectors comes out from. And every, uh, every, every cable is labeled so that it's easier for you to put it straight into your receiver. And here you have the release mechanism for uh, towing a sailplane or so on. There are a lot of things we can hook on this one, but great anyway. Okay, we are back outside. I have mounted the plane. Very easy. And as you can see, uh, the sun is showing itself. Very beautiful. Uh, finally, a piece of summer. Um, as you can see, the plane is quite large, 1.6 meter wingspan on this baby. Uh, it's quite heavy. I'm using a 4-cell 4400 that will fit extremely well <laughs> inside the battery compartment. Uh, the, the battery that uh, Tech One Hobby has chosen is a 3300 milliamp uh, battery, 4-cell uh, of course. So. Uh, what, what we have inside here, I'm going to show you. Uh, the motor is a 680 kV motor, uh, very powerful, 14.7 propeller. Uh, I'm going to do the test flight with this one and then change it to wood propeller because I like them, uh, even gets better sound. So, um, 17 grams servo all around. The CG on this one is um, 850 millimeter, or uh, uh, I'm sorry, 85 uh, till 95 millimeter. So I set mine for 95 millimeter. I have drawn the line 
let's see it's with the battery inside now so I, I've drawn the line and she is fairly straight forward I put mine on 9.5 or 95 millimeter using such a big battery I think this is the best but we will only know when we test fly it okay let's go to the airfield okay, hi everyone we are back uh, at the airfield we're going to take the maiden flight on the air titan uh, we're going to do some landings one without the flaps and one with the flaps and see if we need to add some mix on uh, the elevator but first of all ordinary made <laughs> Early bounce landing, that's my fault. Uh, beautiful, it sails great, and uh, I think this plane has a lot of potential. I think it would also be a good beginner plane, a good trainer. She's not tail heavy, she was spot on, but uh, I adjusted the rudder a bit, uh, the horizontal stabilizer. So, but we're going to take it in again with the flaps and see how she handles with that one. <laughs> I'm adding flaps. No need for uh, any elevator mix on this one. Not at this time. She flies beautiful. I want to take. Um, I want to do a takeoff with takeoff flaps see how easy she goes up. <laughs> it's great with takeoff flaps. We're going to take her high up and then try to pull her. Throttle down, hold the elevator, and nope, there she goes. It's beautiful. One more time with full flap on landing. I have to push the nose down a bit, but uh, that's good. Beautiful. Very pleased with this plane. Tech One Hobby, you have done a great job. I think this one will be a good one. 